Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. After Japan and the Netherlands successively announced new restrictions, the US, Japan, and Netherlands tripartite agreement also announced that the dust had settled and China's good temper was once again challenged. It began to censor Micron and announced counterattacks and then announced sanctions on gallium and germanium. The export of key raw materials for core making is restricted. The two key raw materials, gallium and germanium, are not only used in semiconductor manufacturing, but are also involved in core fields such as batteries and radars. China's tough reciprocal countermeasures made the Biden team anxious, and soon the dog jumped the wall in a hurry, the counterattack came. After expressing its resolute opposition and the attitude of uniting allies and partners to solve the problem, the Biden team is further implementing restrictive rules, trying to restrict Chinese companies from using cloud computing services from American companies, thereby preventing China from having a strong computing power. So can the United States succeed? America's changing status. The implementation of the chip rules was aimed at 5G technology at the beginning. The whole process used Huawei as the conductor, and the scope gradually covered the entire Chinese technology level. Even the development of TikTok in the cultural field was also interfered. The reason why the United States did this is, that is, the monopoly status of American companies has been threatened accordingly. Chip is the brain of technological development. What level of chip it has determines the upper limit of a country's scientific research. The United States has spotted this and spared no effort to restrict Chinese companies from obtaining high-end chips. After being unable to obtain imported chips, China enterprises have accelerated the establishment of industrial autonomy systems and have almost achieved their own contentment on mature process chips. In view of the current situation, the United States has started to restrict the shipment of lithography machines and the US, Japan, and Netherlands tripartite agreement is based on this background. Japan has restricted the shipment of 23 core making products, while the Netherlands can only export for 1980 DI equipment, with the cooperation of the two countries, the limit range was directly lowered to 45 nanometers. These series of actions are all to maintain the hegemony status of American companies. Previously, they only restricted the development of high-end technology, but now they have intervened in mature technology, leaving no room for Chinese companies. This is also a direct challenge. When it comes to China's bottom line, today's China will not be slaughtered, and a strong counterattack has already started. China's Commerce and Customs jointly issued a statement. From August 1, export control will be imposed on gallium and germanium. Any country that wants to import must obtain the corresponding license. China's reserves of these two rare metals rank first in the world, especially gallium reserves account for more than 90%. It can be said that Europe, America, Japan and South Korea lack China's supply, and even if they can find substitutes, it is not enough to meet the current stage. Gallium and germanium are needed in core fields, such as energy and communications. The Chinese suppliers also cooperated very well and completely stopped the shipments of the two metals, causing the prices of gallium and germanium to double several times in a short time, and they were still in a state of price, but no market. 
In the face of international solidarity, China also ignore it, but it is not China's original intention to undermine international cooperation. The reason for this is to let the United States give up further sanctions. What the Biden team did not expect was that the United States had always taken the initiative in the past, and they had the final say on import and export controls. In order to exchange for certain resources, China has always shipped rare metals at low prices. However, the implementation of the chip rules has seriously damaged the vitality of the United States, and it is naturally most effective to launch a reciprocal countermeasure at this time. The Biden team's counterattack. In the face of China's strong counterattack, the United States does not intend to compromise on this, but has launched a further plan. According to the news from the Wall Street Journal, the Biden team is launching restrictions on China's cloud computing services, further restricting Chinese companies from accessing advanced AI chips. 2023 can be said to be the first year of the development of artificial intelligence. OpenAI's ChatGPT turned out to let people see the prospects of the AI industry. With the development of the industry, NVIDIA has successfully broken through the trillion-dollar market value and has become a leader in the background of chip rules. It is the only American company that has doubled its market capitalization. Both NVIDIA A100H100 GPUs are the core of the development of artificial intelligence. The United States has long banned shipments to Chinese companies, but NVIDIA's Huang Renshuan has not compromised. He has never given up on the Chinese market from the beginning to the end. He also specially formulated chips, within the specified regulations, are supplied to Chinese companies for use. It has to be admitted that with complete hardware, American companies have shown a strong side in cloud computing services, and Microsoft, Amazon, etc. are the representatives, and the key core is whether high-end chips can be shipped, the United States naturally wants to plug this loophole. But it may be too late to think about it now. Whether it is in the research and development of AI chips, or in cloud computing, China is technologically overtaking on a bend. Chinese companies are evenly matched with the United States, and more countries have seen breakthroughs. The hope of America's scientific and technological hegemony can be seen from the repeated attitude of the European Union. American technology has come to where it is today, relying on global industrial cooperation, but the Biden team has lost the most important advantage. This is obviously asking for trouble. What do you think of this?